Here I'm going to draw a portrait of Marcus Rashford using the grid method. So I've got a grid on my main sheet of paper. We've got four equal sections vertically and four equal sections horizontally. So now I'm folding uh, my piece of paper with my model in four horizontally and four vertically uh, to mark uh, where my line should be. So I've got an identical grid on my paper and on my model on here. Once I've got this, I'm going to just start copying one square at a time and really focus on plotting the features on here. So here I'm putting the um, kind of plotting uh, the key points uh, around the eye and nose and tracing that area on here. Um, here I'm just realizing that my distance is slightly off so you can use your pencil because we're measuring to scale you can use your pencil or even a ruler to measure the length of the area so here I'm correcting my drawing uh, to have this nice and accurate uh, so don't put your lines too dark initially so you can rub them out if they are not quite right so here I'm plotting uh, the lines for the nostrils uh, the mouth and the teeth and so on so I'm ready to almost just have to join the dots on here I'm observing really carefully as well as measuring so I've got the shape as accurate as possible on here uh, just starting to block some of the dark areas as well really quickly uh, to indicate what might happen there so I'm carrying on working working just square by square on then still uh, using uh, my ruler maybe to measure some areas and make sure I'm plotting it in the right place. Uh, just put a tiny little bit of tone as I'm going along uh, to get the drawing to develop. Here I'm focusing on the second half um, on um, kind of getting the ear and hair on there. As you can see some squares have got a lot more detail than others uh, so those are going to be easier to plot. Sometimes working upside down can help you spot a mistake. So here I'm realizing the eye is not quite the right shape and I'm correcting this on here. Uh, so don't hesitate to uh, just go away from your drawing and come back to it or turn it upside down or ask somebody to have a look at if a fresh pair of eyes to stop any to spot any any mistakes on there. Now I've got the outline I'm starting to block out some of the tone on here. So to block out the tone I'm using really exactly the same method. I'm looking square by square and looking at the darkest areas on there and putting the tone accordingly. I'm using a little bit of texture you can see in the moustache area I've got some little dots uh, the hair just showing the tiny different just the lines and mark making is different in the hair as well to show texture of his hair or eyebrows. Uh, you'll notice as well that in a lot of uh, my uh, shading I'm using directional shading uh, where I try to follow uh, the lines of the face or the neck down here uh, to try to give volume uh, to my drawing on there. I'm just blocking out the background here to make the drawing really stand out um, and just remember to keep your pencil sharp uh, so you are working with a nice sharp pencil it's going to make your life a lot easier. So just going back and working over the last detail on there uh, just checking any little area for improvement.